Hey, listen, I want to tell you, I want to give you a prophetic um, confession and like um, news update, news, news, flash, news flash for the week. My daughter dropped the bomb on me yesterday. She attends uh, middle school, eighth grade. She told me this. She said, uh, Mom, this is a guy in school named Travis. She said he was, um, it's, it's, it's three parts to it. This is going to be one of them. She said he, he made a joke about shooting up and bombing the school. He made a joke about shooting and bombing up the school in 2021. The Bible says, whatsoever is in a man's heart is what he speaks. That's not a joke. The boy in that school today, the vice principal knows that this has been a pattern of behavior. She has done nothing more than to talk to the boy. She has failed her job in doing her due diligence to ensure proper protection and safety and well-being for those children. I'm highly disappointed. I'm highly disheartened. Um, she suffers from what I want to, I made a term, it's called BWPS, um, blank woman petty syndrome. It's a plague. Sometimes uh, teachers want to take um, children issues and turn it into adult um, gossip topics. That is not what teachers are there for. Why she didn't call the police before, I don't know. But there's help on the way. Because what she's, what they're not going to do is fail to protect our children in 2021. With mindsets like that, um, clearly he's troubled. He's not at school today. Hmm. He was at school yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. They were out of school yesterday. Now, all of a sudden, he's not there today. Hmm. I wonder what he's planning. Hmm. That's normally how this story goes. But yet, I'll go to the school, and the teachers, it was her, and they even have a resource officer. They're and another male teacher. They're in the parking lot just conversating and talking and looking down at their phones. Hmm. Oh, while wow. Travis is uh, telling their, telling certain black kids or whoever whoever he's saying to his friends, saying he's going to shoot up and bomb up the school. Okay. Well, we're going to get rid to the bottom of this. And I say all of that to say this. Parents, pay attention to your children and what they're doing in school. Teach them how to discern spirits. Teach them about... Um, how to interact with people, teach them how to identify a, a fire. You know, you got to put a fire out. Where, there, where there's smoke, there's fire. Teach your children. Lead them in the way that they should go. And teachers, teachers, let me say it again. Teachers, stay in your lane. Do what you're supposed to do. If you don't like your job, get another one. Those are my recommendations. You got to see people have to do things for the right reason. When you don't do the thing for the right reason, eh, it's not, it doesn't, it, it, nobody benefits from it. So there's some teachers and, and the system, the education system is, it is. It's not enough people who care. To do the right thing, most people just like to have a spirit of indifference, and you know they they get and they get entrapped in in their selves, and you know they lose sight of what they actually went to school for. I mean, yeah, you went to school to be a teacher, right? Why? So you can do what? Teach and change the children. But see, you can't do that if you got the mindset of one. Stop conglomerating in these little packs and stuff, people. You got to learn how to have a mind of your own. You seek God first. The world we living in in 2021, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I was floored. That's just one. I'll come back with the rest. To God be all the glory forever and ever and amen. We got to step our game up. We got to pay attention to what's important. All right?